Welcome to the Artist Academy podcast, a place where we focus on the business side of art to help you attract more customers, increase profits, to ultimately live a life of creativity and financial freedom. I'm your host, Andrea Earhart, and this week's episode, I'm just going to be talking and chatting about the idea of having the small jobs leading to the big jobs. And I'm just going to be talking because I think about it like this because this is another episode where I just got done for the day. I came home. I have about 20 to 25 minutes before my husband and my toddler get home. And I'm like, I'm going to do this. And I lately have been putting out two episodes a week. And it takes a little bit more effort than most, especially sitting down and doing these solos. And so I'm getting into a habit of just doing the dang thing, just coming home and recording this rather than, I don't know, just going and being lazy or doing something that I want. All of my toddlers away (laughs) and I have quietness inside of this house. I'm going to be working to the full extent. And lately, so much more than most times. And I have just been forcing myself to work even when I don't want to. Mind you, I work probably (laughs) seven hours a day, four days a week, maximum, like maximum. But before that, I was kind of lazy. Like I probably worked like 15 hours a week lazy and I'll just dive into hobbies and I'll do other things. And But lately, okay, in last quarter, I'm like, okay, I am going to make myself work even when I don't want to because I have fallen into this habit of, well, like, I don't really feel like it. Oh, I'm really tired. Or, you know, there's a bunch of social stuff going on or so-and-so made me mad and I'm distracted. And like I'm like, okay, no, no, no. Like, (laughs) I've now figured out, like, this is a season that I'm in where things aren't completely easy. And how spoiled was I for however long, really before children, (laughs) before child, where things are really good most of the time. Like, you know, there was no downspouts, no feelings of extreme tiredness. And just like, I just did it. I just worked because I just had the, I don't know, I don't want to say endurance, something. I just did it. I just went out and did it. And lately I've used every excuse to not work to just kind of, you know, take it easy and, you know, I've earned it, you know, like I just all these things in my head. And I think there's something to that, you know, enjoying life, enjoying the summer, which, but now that it's go time, I'm like, okay, I am doing the thing and this is the time. So today I was painting for our local Mexican restaurant and came about because we've lived here for almost four years, I want to say. So a small town outside of Springfield. This town, a few thousand people in population. Like it's not very big, but it's it's next to a bigger city. There's not art around where I live. I live in Rogersville, Missouri. <laughs> if you just, the main exit, you're probably going to run into my house, <laughs> which is now giving me creepy vibes that I just told you that. But it's, I mean, not exactly, but kind of. <laughs> like it's a small town outside of a big city. And we, whenever we first moved here, uh, we went and met the previous owners of our house, this local Mexican restaurant, and they loved it. And I remember what we ate and because we were in the process of buying their home and the people we were buying our home from were very much like the older versions of my husband and I, like just taught them just there's so many similarities really got along, even though they're about 30 years older than us. <laughs> and so it just, it felt really fitting that we were moving to their house and I don't know, carrying on the traditions kind of a thing. But we met at this local re- Mexican restaurant and that's a core memory that I have that I'll probably never forget. And then whenever I had our first mural meetup here and when we had so many artists, like 20, 30 something, I don't know. There were, there was a lot that around everywhere. We ate at this local Mexican restaurant. And ever since when we have a mural meetup, we eat at this local Mexican restaurant because the food's great. The people are great. It's just like every time we go in there, my husband is like, my wife is an artist. If you ever want anything <laughs> and, or he'll just say, Hey, yeah, you know, he'll just strike up a conversation with the owner or the waiter or whoever, because that's, he talks to everybody and myself and just anything. I don't know. And so 
they've been on their radar. They're like, hey, past spring, I want to say. And I was kind of busy at the time. And they said they wanted something. I was like, okay, okay. And then I just, I put off really meeting with them. And I was like, ah, like, cause they just, they did not have a ton of budget. And they, they let me know that they're like, we can't afford your, cause I was like, usually I charge like a thousand dollars a day, but I, you know, I work fast and it's like this. And they're like, oh, that you could just see their eyes widen. Like, whoa, maybe this isn't a good fit. I'm like, well, you know, this, this place is full of core memories already. And we are going to live here forever. And it's five minutes up the road. And I just, it's, it's something that I wanted to do. Plus my husband was really invested in this for some reason. He's like, no, you need to paint at the local Mexican restaurant. I'm like, okay. So fast forward, I connected with them again. And I was like, Hey, sorry. You know, this past summer I was like, I can come paint. They're like, Hey, we're, we're not ready. I was like, okay. So what I didn't know and I know now is they were planning to do like a big remodel where they're going to close down for a whole week or two and completely repaint everything and new chairs, new tables, everything. And I was thinking about that, like knowing that now, I was kind of confused on why they said they didn't want something back then. I was like, maybe it's because I put them off. Maybe like their price is too high. Maybe, I don't know. Like I was just going on in my head, like we all do when somebody doesn't say paint for us right now, we want this right now, right? And so I just, I say that because, you know, sometimes just letting things go and waiting and playing the long game and letting the time pass, things can work out later. Like people will contact you when they want something typically. And, you know, there's always the, they could find something cheaper and they definitely could have, but you know, we had been in there so much and they had had a relationship with us, especially my husband, (laughs) very memorable. And they reached out whenever they were ready. So I met with them about a month ago and they created a plan and then we set it up to paint today and and yesterday. And we ended up doing a rate of, it's like $700, but they're probably going to pay for half of that in gift cards. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. Whatever. So I went in there yesterday, really excited to paint this Katrina, which is like a Mexican woman, really pretty with face stuff and flowers and all the things. And I was like, okay, here we go. Perfect. Love it. Cause it actually at the time of this, it's around Halloween season. So this is the perfect time to paint and post something like that for social media. And yeah, it just, it was going to work out. So the first day I went and really excited to paint it. And I spent more time than I would have normally on this face, this Katrina face, and then really like making the shadows on the nose and then the, the shadow right above the upper lip and uh, doing the colors and the eyes looked like, you know, you could, they were just drawn to you. And I, I spent quite a bit of time on it. I really wanted it to look good. And come the end of the day, I probably spent like five hours on it yesterday. It's like, okay, I'm done. I'll finish it tomorrow. Come back today and I ended up spending about six hours there today. But today was a different story in my mind. Today was like, we're not having fun. <laughs> I'm now working for pennies. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is just taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. And which is kind of my fault because I spent more time on it to make it look good, which sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I completely work to the budget of the customer and say, you only have this amount. So I'm only going to give you just these few hours. But this time was a bit different because I'm going to go in there and have to look at it several times over the span of my life. And I just wanted to I don't know, make a statement is I want to be the local artist for my town. There's no local artists here that are standing out at all. And this is, I think, step one in that. And because everybody goes to this local Mexican, right? Like I was just telling my friend about this who does not live here, by the way. And she goes, oh, my whole team goes and eats there every time we go through that town to wherever. It's known. But today... I didn't have the, oh, this is fun. Let let me make things look perfect and vibe. It was like, okay, like the hard part's done. Like the focal point of the mural is done. I'm just kind of doing the filler flowers and the basic shapes around it, but it was taking a bit longer. And so I really had to talk myself out of this, like, I'm working for pennies thing. What am I doing? Because it was kind of affecting my mood. And I wasn't, I was, I wasn't being like the best person to be around. Like people would talk to me and be like, okay, yeah, thanks. Like, and I'm like, what am I doing? Like, this is like, this is silly. Like I, I agreed to this 
and I'm going to do a good job. And it, it is, it's done. It's, I'm glad I took many of photos with it. I'm going to tag them in our local Facebook group and it's going to be great. But I had to reframe my, my thinking because I hadn't done, it's not like a pro bono thing, but something for cheap in a long time. And so I just wanted to tell you, you know, even at my quote level of painting for 10 years, like sometimes even I get into situations where I didn't quote it right, or I'm not super excited to be there, or, you know, it takes a little bit longer and it's just like not the most profitable high-end thing. And I had to reframe my mind. I was like, okay, think of all the stuff that's going to come from this. Think of all the times where I worked for pennies and something really big came from it. And I just, okay. And it made me feel just in a better mood. There's so many times that I could reference, but I worked for completely for free to do the Monarch Butterfly Wings downtown seven years ago. And I got so many jobs from that. And I did our local Welcome to Springfield mural and got paid almost nothing to do that, but ended up landing several jobs from that, thousands and thousands of dollars worth from that. And so I was thinking, hmm, I wonder what's going to come of this. So I just let my mind go there. I was like, what if I make a video about this, a really good video or two or five, and one of those videos goes viral. And I'm just going to, I was like, I'm just painting away. I'm like, I'm going to call it now. I'm like, I'm going to get a really good views on at least one of these videos that I make from this specific mural. I'm not making very much, but I'm going to get something from it that way. Or somebody's going to walk in because this thing that I painted is big. It's in your face. It's right when you walk in, it makes a statement. I'm like, everybody is going to see this. And there's going to be one businessman who owns a big business and they're going to be building here in Rogersville and it's going to be a big, big building and they're going to hire me for a mural for it. I'm like, yeah, okay, great. And so I'm just making up these stories in my head of things that are going to happen because I was in a bad mood (laughs) and not not necessarily a bad mood, but just like, you know, like it was an okay day. Also, to top it off, (laughs) I I painted everything black first, right? And so I was going over it with color. And so it needed like three times the coats that I normally would. And also, I usually use this paint called Command Paint. And it's for floors. And it's amazing. It's It's by Benjamin Moore. And I really love it. And usually, usually, it's a one coat type paint. But on this black surface, it was not. It was like two or three. But and then I was using some of the paint that they were using inside of the restaurant to paint other walls so that I could bring some of the colors from the other walls onto the mural to blend. And I, one of the first strokes that I used on this pink that they had, it was like, did you get the cheapest paint that you could possibly get? Like in my head, I was like, really guys because this is gonna take five coats to go over this black with this pink and I'm just like Ugh. like artist problems right <laughs> it's like the things that bug us it's like that's one of the things double coats I hate it I will invest in the good paint every day because it just saves me so much more time like I don't want to say it's cuts it in half but I mean it's it saves quite a bit of time to do one coat as opposed to three or two coats as opposed to four. Like it's just, uh. so I'm doing this and I'm like, oh gosh. And then I kind of go back into it again. I'm like, really? And I'm like, no, 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 no. Like think of all the things that are going to come from this. Think about how happy I'm going to be when people reference this. And you know, this is a billboard for my art. This is a billboard for me as an artist being the artist in Rogersville, Missouri, which is what I want. Okay. (laughs) I don't want to say going for the low hanging fruit, but I'm really excited to be this small town artist. Okay. And sometimes more often than not, like how I started in the beginning, it's just sometimes you got to do something for a little bit less. Sometimes it happens and people might argue with me like, no, you could have squeezed every last dime out of them. And I'm like, eh, they're really good people. And I just, I feel like I'm making, you know, $300, three fifty a day, <laughs> but it's not nothing. And 22 year old Andrea would have been so happy 
to be doing this. Like so happy. And the reason I'm not happy now is because I'm so spoiled at this. And so I'm like, no, no, like talking myself out of this. So I share this because, you know, maybe you're in the beginning part of your journey and you're doing things for not as much as you want to be doing them for. And I don't know, like, I think there are certain times to do work for little if you really like the person, really like them, and they give you a little bit more control on how you paint them, the things, which they did. They let me kind of pick out the things that how I thought it would look good. And if it's going to be in an area that actually gets exposure with this, I really believe will. I put my name on it really big (laughs) right at the bottom right corner, which is like even the bottom right corner is like eye level to the mural. And like, people are going to see this. And I know that these, this restaurant owner, they're going to sing my praises. Anytime anybody comments on it, they're going to be like, oh, Andrea, our local (laughs) artist. (laughs) I'm Andrea in Mexico, by the way. And any Spanish person calls me Andrea. I think I'm just going to start going by that because I think it sounds fancier. (laughs) And just on the subject of comparing new and old ways to back in the day, I would have booked this for a one day job because I would have been like, okay, no, they, they don't have a budget. I'm not spreading this out on two days. I need to get as much work as I can done. I am going to just do one day and one day only. And I would have worked 10 hours at once and been so dead tired at the end of the day would have gotten all right video, all right photos. But instead, nowadays, what I do, if anybody doesn't know, I prefer this a lot better. Plus, I have a child and can only work about seven hours a day max. So I usually will do five, six hours, take a lunch, relax, and I will spread something that would be one day into two days. If it's close to like an eight-hour thing or nine or 10, I will automatically just say, okay, I'm just going to block off two days for this. Even though I would make a lot more if I just gutted it out to one day, it's just not worth it to me anymore. It's not worth it to be overly tired, but really I just, I want to see my son toddler. So when I went to work today, I work, quote, I drove up the road to the Mexican restaurant and started painting on the wall. When I went there again today, I put on the exact same shirt that I wore yesterday, which is like a purple shirt. And I wore the shirt because I knew that I was going to be painting in reds and purples and pinks. And I wanted to match the mural. (laughs) And I just think it looks good in video. And I slipped on the same shirt again to go there because I think it looks good in video. And I really like to do the before and after videos and have it be as close to the same as possible is that weird? I don't know. Does anybody else do this? I would love to hear. (laughs) It's like a a weird thing sometimes that I just, I don't know. I'll just, that's what I like. I don't know. Just something about to have like the magic of editing. It's not that I'm really trying to trick people and thinking that it got painted in a day. I don't know. I just like the way it looks. And because I split it into two days, and I knew I was going to do that. And I didn't show up that day and immediately have to rush to start painting. I was able to take a lot of before pictures and videos as well. So big thing, like I think it helps so much to just not be rushing all the time. I feel like in the beginning of my journey, I was always rushing, always doing something. And there was always a deadline. There was always like, and, and I did it to myself really. And once I finally realized that I don't have to do that to myself, even with a job like this, where I'm not making the amount that I know I could be making on something else, like I still split it up into two days just for the peace of mind, just to do it. And so, you know, if you're an artist who is constantly being like, oh, I have this to do. Oh gosh. Like you get used to it, you know, like you have a bit of, I don't know. You get some tough skin to always have something on your plate, but to always have something that has a crazy deadline and to be like, oh, I have to finish this today because tomorrow I'm starting something else. Like we don't have to do that to ourselves. We just don't. And I refuse to do that anymore because if I'm always rushing, like it's not good for me personally. If you're somebody who can just go, 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 and you can still, you know, go and be a parent and be the best, you know, whatever. Like you probably get good sleep because you're tired. (laughs) And so, yeah, that's just, it tells me a lot with one creating content, just being able to think like, okay, let me do something before I paint. And then I also have some time afterwards. I'm not just like, okay, let's clean up and get out of here. Like exhausted, like just giving myself time. And that's my 
biggest thing. Like just give yourself way more time than you think. I actually thought that this was going to take like one day and then I was going to come back and it would take like two hours today. Well, it didn't. And that's why I was in a crappy mood, but we're done. We're over it. Now I'm just going to reap the benefits because I did the hard thing. I'm going to pat myself on the back. Like I did it. I gutted it out for two days. I act like I'm doing this for free. I'm not. (laughs) I'm doing it for salsa and nachos, (laughs) but not free, but (laughs) lots of gift cards. And then before I left, they were actually like, hey, we want you to do this other wall too. And I was like, oh gosh, no. (laughs) please no. And they go, okay, what are you wanting? And then she's like, well, can you do a canvas painting? And I was like, I bet you could find something online way cheaper. Like I was just very real with her. I was like, you know, I usually charge about a thousand dollars a day. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we know, we know. Like, I'm like, okay, you know this, you're trying to stretch me. And like, gosh, I don't want to come back here. But And so they're getting the canvas painting because I told her it was going to be more than double for me to do it. This is the second time this year, by the way, that I've had a Mexican restaurant ask me to do way more. And I've just had to put my foot in the ground and be like, no, I I can do this. I'll do this for you, but I'm not doing that, that, and that. (laughs) So, but they did ask for another mural. So I gave them the same rate. I really think I can get this one done in a day. So I'm going to do this one on in a couple days. They are opening in like five days and tomorrow is Halloween. And I told my husband this morning, I'm like, I think I'm going to keep my son home and we're just going to spend Halloween together. Like there's some stuff going on around town. Like I really want to dress up with him and make a full day event of it. Tomorrow's Thursday. So it's midweek and I am my own boss. And my boss says that I can take off for Halloween and I'm going to do it. And I told him that this morning in fewer words. And so when they asked, they're like, Hey, we want this. And like, also we're opening on Monday. Like, can you, I was like, well, I can't come in tomorrow, but I can come in on Friday and I'll see what I can get done in the day, which I'm pretty sure I can get this last thing done. But I didn't let them change my plans. And that's also something that I probably would have done back in the day. I mean, mom hormones are a lot stronger than, you know, plans with any anything else. So I wasn't budging. But back in the day, like, My husband would complain about it. He's like, you said you were going to help me cook and now you're painting windows. I'm like, but I have to. Like, no, I don't have to. I can move things around. I can give it to someone else. I could easily give this to somebody else, but I don't want to. (laughs) Or do I? I don't know. But I'm putting my foot in the ground. I'm like, this is more important. I can't come tomorrow, but I'll come. Like, So I guess what I'm trying to say is find out what works for you. If there's a benefit to it, do it. Even if you, maybe it's not the most beneficial at the moment, like long game, I'm still playing the long game. I'm going to be the, the best artist in Rogersville, Missouri. You know, I mark my words. And so what do you want? Do you, what, do you want to be the best artist in whatever area, your small town, big town, whatever? Like, what do you need to do in order to do that? Some of the steps might not be very fun, might not be very profitable, but you got to do it. So I can hear the garage door going up right now. And so my husband and toddler are home. And so that is it. And that's, I I hope you got something from this. I'm really enjoying doing these podcast episodes every week. And I kind of ramble a little bit, but I, what really helps is (laughs) I still need a little bit of external validation sometimes. And like when people message me saying, I really like that episode, I'm like, okay, good. Thank God. (laughs) I mean, I know there's, definitely a handful of people that are not going to message me about it. And I'm like, that's fine. Cause like, do I ever message podcasters and their, their podcasts changed my life and day and week. And do I ever message them? No, but I like to hear it. So if it helps and it does, I would love to hear it. Okay. That is it. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Artist Academy podcast. I will see you next week. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Artist Academy podcast. If you like this art and business talk in audio form, then I want to invite you to get my book It's called Mural Money, How to Grow Your Art Business from Zero to Six Figures. So starting from the very bottom, like you don't even have a website yet. You have nothing. You're not sure where to go and you want to make money with a paintbrush. You want to have your creativity pay the bills. I have taken so much of the advice that I've gotten from artists from this podcast. I've been doing one episode for over five years now. So many interviews, so many good bits of advice. So I've taken the best of the best of that advice and put it in my book. 
along with so many stories and lessons learned that I've had in my own mural career of just how I would go back and save a whole lot of time if I just knew these steps. This is a 15 hour audiobook, And so if you like this podcast, if you're listening to interview after interview, I know that you're going to like the book. So go to muralmoney.com. It's for anybody who wants to grow their art business with a paintbrush. Muralmoney.com. And I will see you next week for another episode of the Artist Academy podcast. <laughs>